Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DIY Shoes. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DIY Shoes. So let's do the the non-diamond painting thing. Here, this is a supposed to be a vacuum. It's supposed to be a desktop cleaner. This is $7.79 on the website and it comes in different colors. I think the one that I'm going to link is just the one for this color. Okay, I remarkably, would you believe, I don't have one of these vacuums yet. Um, let's see, what, do I, what batteries do I need? Just tell me what batteries do I need. Because I'm thinking I need batteries. Okay, I guess I'll have to open it and see what batteries I need. Okay, it looks like the double A. I'm going to go get some. All right, got some batteries here. Let me make sure everything is turned off before. <laughs> Let's see. Do I know which, what's turned on and off? That's depressed. That's not depressed. I'm thinking the not depressed is the right one for it to not be turned on. All right. So let's... Okay, that's supposed to be this way and that way. Well, it didn't turn on, so... There. And... I'm guessing this just gets added here. All right, let's let's try things. Let me go get some drills. So some drills. This is a diamond painting that I've kind of given up on. Well, not really given up on. Let's do drills that are similar color. It's just I kitted this up like a long time ago and it's been who knows how long so ah drills all right let's that's really loud sorry i didn't realize it would be that loud so Well, it doesn't work if they're static. So, it looks like it got put in there, but yeah, static. Oh wait, there's this brush here. So, yeah. I'm gonna put on some lotion. I think I think it's stuck because of static. So maybe the the vacuum will work better when it's not staticky season. Wait, yeah. Let's try. Let's try with the wait this. There's an arrow here, so okay. Let's try with what happens if I use this thing. Will it be a little bit better? Okay, so the problem is it's really loud because the drills are are running around in there, like... So... So for now, I think there's just too much static and things that for this to be 
helpful for me right now. So, yeah, see, it's too much static. But that's just because it's winter, it's static season. See, like, the, the drills are just sticking to there. And I'm just going to brush this to the end of my table. But yeah, static. Yeah, see, even there, this is not wanting. So yeah, I think I think I need to test this out when it's not winter and it's not staticky. Or it's not winter, but it's cold. Like I had it it's gonna be like I saw in the forecast for tomorrow that it's gonna be under it's gonna be below freezing tomorrow. So it's gonna be cold. You know, I'm gonna pause so that I can clean this up and you don't have to watch me clean up. <laughs> Alright, I have cleaned up the mess a little bit. So yeah, there's this vacuum here and it's $7.79. Alright, next item is this one. This is a bag. It's eight dollars and ninety nine cents, and it's this bag with this sun. It looks like the only thing diamond painted is the sun part here, and there is the chain here, and here are the drills. Looks like there's only five colors. Some brown, yellows, and and then some big white drills here. And it's my here it is. It is about 19 centimeters across by 14 centimeters tall. So yeah. Haven't done a bag, but you know. I was talking about like giving away all these small projects I did during Halloween and I was very successful. Everything went away. So now I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm going to just do like lots of things that I probably wouldn't have done because now I know there are going to be takers. So bag here. Right. This next thing is a decorative item. Uh, I actually had a viewer send me an email. It was like, ooh, have you seen this? And I'm like, nope, I haven't. But it did pop up in my... Because uh, I tend to get my diamond paintings based off of what's new. Because I figure I don't have time to go through the old archive sometimes. So ordinary toolkit with some tweezers. And these are special drills here. And this is supposed to be one meter Christmas decorative tape. Free cutting, DIY. I don't know. We'll see. There is some tape here, which I should just cut. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. For whatever reason, I thought it would be bigger. But that's good. It won't take us long to do, right? Okay, got the tape off. All right, here it is. Oh, it's very, very long. It did say one meter. I was thinking, that's going to take me forever to do one meter. Because that's what, a hundred centimeters? 
So there's a little foam roller here. So yeah, here it is. One meter, is it? It's a, it seems like it's a sticker. So I'm not sure where I'd put it because I'd be afraid to stick it onto something and not it not come off. I was hoping it would be like one of those window decals that, you know, kind of stick on one side and then comes off. I want I wonder, does it say if it's removable? Let's see. Nope, there's nothing in here indicating anything. But yeah, it feels it feels like a sticker. So yeah, this is the one I got here. And let's see. It's about 10 centimeters wide or tall. I don't know. Let's see. I don't even know if my... Let's see if it is... Well, it's more than 100 meters. I mean centimeters. Seems like it's more 110 centimeters. So, hey, they actually gave more. <laughs> but yeah, I was looking, I was like, this might actually take a while. It's, it's a lot. Just think it's like, it's probably like two, 225 by 35s here. All right, let's look at the drills. Oh, and this is $6.59. There are like five different uh, types. But yeah, very, I'm not like, what direction is up? Now see, the numbers go this way. So wait, it looks like it's all numbers. It's like the normal special shapes one. So it's like a very, very long sticker. And if I wasn't afraid of it not ever coming off something, I would probably stick it on something. So this, there's a green. Some big red drills, some yellow, some tiny, tiny marquees, some bigger ones, some teardrops. And then rhinestones here. So, just something different, something different. Yeah, like I said, I kind of wish it was window decal and not sticker, but... I don't know, I'm trying to think like... Now I'm, now I'm thinking like, what Dollar Tree thing can I buy to stick this on? <laughs> I think I've been watching too many of those Dollar Tree haul like Dollar Tree DIY decorative things videos so this next one is a 30 by 30 round drill should be and it's four dollars and 49 cents and ordinary toolkit like I said round drills and here it is. It's these poinsettia with the pine cones and are those grapes? I guess grapes. Or it's probably some sort of poisonous um, <laughs> berry like in the real, in, in the wild. Probably any of these like red berries are probably poisonous. <laughs> so it looks like 23 colors with all the symbols being letters here and drill field looks 
okay uh issue there could be is this look at the o and look that's a d so yeah because that's how it happens the o and d of course are similar color And then even this B and S could start looking very similar at some point here. Because usually diamond paintings don't have a B and an 8, but an S can look very similar to an 8. And this is a 24 and a half by 24 and a half. And so some black, reds, some beige browns, greens, more greens, and then some more greens and browns. Oh, and there's a There's another strip here, some red, greens, and browns, and white. So did I say this is 4.49? See, I think I think this will. I think it'll turn out um, when when you're when you're getting these diamond paintings that are the smaller sizes, you do have to get something that's hopefully not too much detail um, because it does tend to look a little bit better the bigger it is. But a lot of the diamond paintings, if you just look at the finish, even if you look at it right right close, you're like, eh. Um, if you just look at it from afar, it usually will look like the the image. Now, if your image is so busy, there's nothing you can really do, <laughs> even how far you look at it. So yeah. Next one here is a mystery diamond painting. Would you believe I have yet to complete any of my mystery diamond paintings? I have one that I'm three-fourths completed with, but I d didn't end up liking the image, and I just kind of stopped, and I just never went back So since I stopped. I just need to finish that. It's just like one more day of work, and I'll be done. <laughs> okay, right. so this is a 40 by 50 Oh, I ripped my bag. A 40 by 50 round mystery diamond painting. It's $9.79. And so ordinary toolkit. Like I said, these are rounds. And... Let's see if we can figure out what in the world this will be. I got nothing. Lots of times you see a diamond painting, uh, uh, you see the, the mystery, and you could kind of see the pattern underneath it. Because I've seen some mystery diamond paintings use like shaded, even though it's black and white, it's shaded. And... I see nothing. Yep, I see nothing. So it looks like there is 26 colors here. All the symbols are symbols, practically. And looks like I have no idea what it is. No idea. Can we tell from the color scheme? Probably not. So yeah, I think this might be one of those ones that really ha you have no idea what the mystery diamond painting is until you actually do it. So let's see. Some black, some purples and grays, and some browns here. And then some more purples, so it seems like there's a lot of purple, and then there's a lot of this 
number five. So this is the background color. Uh, this brownish gray color. And some more purples, some greens, browns, blues, and then some greens. I don't know. Is it a purple flower? Yeah, this is usually like I said, the previous uh, mystery diamond paintings I've gotten have been like not that mysterious. Like you could actually see a pattern in there. Like I think the last mystery diamond painting I got was was some animals because you could tell there's an animal. This one I I can't see it. I really can't see it. So this one is truly a mystery here. And did I say this was $9.79? I did. All right, so that's the last one that I'm unboxing for this video. So let's move stuff. So mystery diamond painting. There. Here's the poinsettias. Here is the vacuum. Here's the bag. And, oh. I was like, where did I put the tape? Here is the really long tape. Here. So I will work on the bag and the really long tape. I, I do see myself doing this poinsettia maybe in December. I don't know when this video will be up. It's actually 11.05, 2022. But after I finish stuff, and maybe if I decide to do any of the other things, that will be a bonus, but you should see these two finishes. All right, I'll see you later. All right, I'm back and the bag is done here. It's just a lovely sun. I have not sealed this yet. Unfortunately, it's like too cold for mo my spray sealers. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a liquid sealer and, and then I'm probably just gonna try to do like a whole bunch at once instead of my spray sealing, which I kind of just, it was just really quick to do. But here is the information. This is from DIY Choose, like this video was supposed to be for. <laughs> this is a 14 by 19, about four, 19 across 14 tall. There was five colors with four crystal rhinestones and one special. And there was no DMCs or anything. And I did not kit this up, so not applicable. And this took me 19 minutes to complete. Woot woot. So it's cute. It does have the the chain on here for it, but I haven't put it in. So that will be an after the sealing thing. But first time I've had one of these little bags. It's a cute little bag. Probably good for kids. Probably give this away next Halloween. Like a year from now. <laughs> All right. So I did end up finishing this one too. This one is a 10 by 109 with 14 colors, eight crystal rhinestones and five specials. Let me tell you, this took way longer than I thought it would. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I, I'm not done yet. It actually took me five hours and nine minutes to complete this over three days. And what did I write? The rendering was fine. There were guide circles and I could see them sometimes. And that was like those white guide, like the, like the symbols are have a are in white and you could unless you place the drill perfectly you can see it so i did run out of one of the colors and i saw there was a slice at the top and i'll i will let you know what i meant by that so let me you're not going to see the whole thing on screen maybe i could have just done partial of it and you would not have even noticed <laughs> but here it is do, 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 train of there. So I'm just going to put it to center, move you down so you can see it more. So, ah, uh, I did say there was a slice at the top. It was, I don't know, now that I turned it around. Okay, the top for me was in this direction because the symbols were in this direction. So over here, it looks like I don't know if you can tell, the the plastic got sliced here. 
and yeah, you can't tell. But see, I don't know if you can tell the the this part of the sticker is coming off here. So the plastic looked like it got s sliced right there. Yeah, see, look at that. There was just a straight line slice there. And I ran out of this drill, this teardrop here, but that's okay. Guess what? I had plenty in my stash, so I was able to finish it. I ran out at about maybe like half of this. This was like the last one I did and I, about half of this, I didn't have enough to finish this one, but so not too many, but I did run out of it and yeah, I think this one turned out nice. It got kind of repetitive as I went along. I was like, it just kept going and going. <laughs> but this took me almost as long as like a full drill, like 25 by 35. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm, I, I don't know how removable this will be and I don't know how much I would want to put it on like something where I would want to take it off. I wonder if this is one of those ones, like if you want to remove it, you could just get your hair dryer. Like there are those um, sticky things that you put on something and then it sticks and then you're not supposed to like hang anything for it for like you know a 10 minutes or something or like a couple hours and then when you're trying to remove it you just get a blow dryer heat up the glue a little bit and it'll make the glue a little bit less connected to the thing i wonder if this is that type of sticker but until yeah i don't know if i want to test it because i don't want i don't want this to be permanently stuck to my glass it doesn't seem that sticky so i wonder if it's that kind of glue because yeah, this is something that would you would put like on a long window. So I think I think it could work if you know if I was brave enough to try it. If anyone who has tried putting this on to something and has successfully moved it, I'd like to know. All right, so there is the two finishes here. Uh, I could move you up, but how much? Oops, how much more of this do you need to see? All right, so. That's all I have for today, so thank you to DIY Choose for sending these items for review, and thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting! Bye!